Tui Zero XVX with a video on All Star. Right, what I've done, guys, is I've got my little micronode uh, built by Peter G7RPG. Uh, I'll just show you on the screen. I've got it up on there. G7RPG Peter, great guy. Uh, lives in uh, Portsmouth, down in the south coast of England. And this is one of his micronodes. I'm just being careful with it because I've undone the four screws on the bottom. But I'm just going to lift the lid on it and show you inside. Right, if you guys are not very good at soldering and uh, not very good at setting up All Star, this is one of Peter's micronodes. This one's got a little antenna on the back, uh, US, uh, SMA socket on it. Right, I'm just gonna go through uh, inside, what's inside here. Let me see if I can pop it up. I'll put it up against my power supply. There we go, looking down inside. Right, this is inside uh, Peter's uh, micronode. Raspberry Pi. Little power board on there, and he's got his uh, sound fob, which is heavily modified. I'll go into it. It's a bit of work goes into the sound fob, and his transmitter receiver is a Baofeng 888 radio, which is taken apart and modified. Drop the power right down so it doesn't blow it up, uh, because obviously on the transmit and receive, it's on transmit all the time. So. This radio will kick out uh, 4 watts and 1 watt, but he's dropped this right down to about, I think it's 50 milliwatts he's put this on, uh, but he chucks them out normally about 10 milliwatts, the same as a um, uh, DV Mega Hotspot, something like that. But this is inside it, uh, there's quite a bit of work inside there. He's put a power board in there and you know, like a book converter and uh, some bits and bobs on it, you know, for the money. I don't think you could make it yourself and get it all set up. And the other thing Peter does, it's ready to go out of the out of the box. You turn it on, it's ready to go. There's no setting up, no configuring asterisks or anything like that. And I'm not joking. I mean, I build MMDVM hotspots, and Peter does a fantastic job with this. I mean, look how smart it is. All you got to do is plug it in. Put some voltage in there, flick it on, and wait for the uh, radio. And he put he puts the frequency on the back with a CCS7 code. So you program a little radio up uh, with the frequency and the tone code. You turn this on, and what it will do, it will connect to your internet, and then you listen on your radio for the IP address. So it will in the UK it will go one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot and then the digits of your IP address once you've done that you can go to your web browser and you'll get uh, an all monitor where you can see what activity is going on the other thing you can do with this uh, micronode it is very versatile you can go into it and set up the APRS so it will beacon out a little beacon over your uh, area where you know your house where you're running from and also you will be able to obviously set up the Ormon monitor, Ormon 2 monitor and uh, you can do echo link into it as well. If you look on my, uh, echo, if you go onto echo link and look under the link section uh, you'll see 2E0XVX stroke L. So you are a sysop and you go to echo link and convert yourself to a sysop, register yourself for your call sign as a dash L and this little box of tricks will have a bridge from Echo Link into your All Star. Great little bit of kit. I thought I'd let you know. Um, if you're not confident enough to build your own uh, MMDVM hotspot, uh, sorry, uh, your All Star hotspot, go and get yourself one from G7RPG. Peter, great guy. Give him a tinkle and uh, he will embed all your details. You will have to firstly. Uh, go to allstarlink.org, register yourself, then apply for a node number. Once you've got the node number and password, contact Peter, G7RPG via uh, qrz.com, uh, send me a link uh, and say, right, I would like to buy one of your micronodes and uh, he'll ask you for the uh, password and node number. Uh, you pay him your uh, dues and he'll get it ready for you. Hope that's good. Seven threes.